of the fact he kept finding four five-man Chronos. Now he jumps in, finds S4, goes for the first one. RK will end up sacrificing his life as he swaps out S4. He will, he survives. EGM gets a shallow grave. RK making himself out. This one, Bulldog hunting down Cinder and the Ghost that's protected for now, but not anymore. Bulldog just reeling away. The Lotus Orb is up. Yapsaw actually picking himself up with this one. They Chronosphere onto S4. Will they find the damage? Sunstrike, Sharkrum, they're going all onto S4, but again EGM with this shallow grave he's buying more space and Baldur goes for more initiation so S4 is able to survive the Rubik will go down so a one-for-one -one trade off loader into the fight too escape do you still feel you got enough to fight you burn both your chronospheres and loader could just bring out that refresher rob and get his metamorphosis back up again in a second as well as his bkp but the curse Cinderin, he finds the opening s4 they swap him back out again so s4 being chased down by the four spirits with alliance breaking three of the three men huge curse but now they're gripped up outside the base loader he wanted to thunder but the lotus orb cancels it he doesn't find what he wants and now he's down for 95 seconds the buyback will come he'll actually come back to the front lines with the bt but how many more of his teammates will still be alive here is fighting in the front line. Cinderin goes down. Koifa, they find the damage. They bring him down. Here is on the run too. The sole survivor for escape. But they still have to defend their that home. The tier 3 towers under attack. attack. A rather large wave going in through the top. Alliance have to repair the buildings before they can come out and look for more. That Lotus Orb from Era salvaged that team fight. They had gotten the thunder off gets the grab on EGM, they jump in, Keizu, the BTs are coming in too, it's gonna arrive, a three-man chrono, that's big, they got RK as well, there's no saving grace, even the magic missile will be sold to keep RK under control, the support, the curse is there, Loda, will he unwillingly kill his best friend with a shark room down, it's gonna happen, Wyvern will find the kill. There's still a two-for-one trade-off as the Rubik got picked off in the back lines, again, Bulldog being an absolute pest. And that is gonna be ESC still. Ready to push in. No buybacks for the two Alliance supports. It's up to the three cores of Alliance. As escape, they just chipped from range into the tier three. How much more can they get? You still have your BKBs up from the cores. They didn't have to fight too hard. So Bulldog runs in. Comes a fair chunk of damage. Tornado's gonna pick him up. BKB still on cooldown for 12 more seconds. Admiral Bulldog. Well, he'll get out. How much more can they go for? Escape. Ripping through that range racks. The fortification will slow things down. Loader gonna trigger that metamorphosis. Bulldog back to the front lines again. Needs the BKB insatiable hunger. Cinderin first to fall for Keizu. The double chronosphere. This could be it right now. He refreshes. He goes for the second one, but Loader pushed back out and then pushed back in again by the deafening blast. The Aegis the Immortal will trigger. S4 is being focused in the meantime on the sidelines and the buyback out from Bulldog. RK back to the front lines. S4 is low. The Shallow Grave is up, so S4 can survive through this. Tornado tries to create space, just picking up Bulldog, throwing him down with the EMP. They're going to burn down a little bit, but the EMP doesn't burn enough. It's just the Ice Wall, which gives Alliance basically moonwalking out the front of their base. They do manage to pick up Face of Void, so Keizu will drop. And the only thing that was really lost is a lot of life from Tier 4 and the Rain tracks again in mid until Era he comes back in for another fight. Or oh, will he? Alright, so Alliance. How do you play this now? Knowing the Bulldog is kind of like your linchpin. You're putting him on the front lines almost as bait. But the Shadow Wave hitting the wave, obviously... They're escape. trying to fight without the Void. That's, that's oh, a very S4, tiny window. Firefly. He finds Yapsaw, but Yapsaw blinks away in time. Here it's going to come over. S4, there's a BT coming on top of him. It's Admiral Ball at the front lines, but the curse! It's going to lock Bulldog in. S4 pulled away, and Loader! He will end up killing off S4. Too much damage from the Terrorblade, working against Alliance. You still have Timber as well as Void on the sideline, but they both have buyback. Yapsaw can delay this. The tier 2 tower is up and the fortification is available. So Alliance, they can't really capitalize on the two deaths of ESC. All Escape had to do was just weather that, weather that fight and oh, not hello. lose like five heroes. Radiant Courier just got killed. Got it. Hey, uh, which one though? <laughs> it had 5,200 uh, net worth on it. Yeah, I don't know what that would have been. 
It's, it's a second courier, but we, we can't cycle through uh, dead couriers. They just need a decent corner from Kezu, not even an amazing one. He's been getting pretty good ones in the team fight. Just decent. Did he buy another refresher? Why did he buy uh, two refreshers? That was Koifa. Koifa bought Oh, refresher. his, his refresher almost died on the other chicken. That's what happened. Ah. He had one in the last fight. I was wondering where it went. <laughs> but whatever, just buy another one. <laughs> he got the money for it, sure. That push coming in, that's a decent creep wave. And Alliance still without S4. They don't want him to force the Spire back. A Butterfly will now also be purchased up. So Loader will have that for the engagement. Leaves his refresher back at base. That replaces the Aegis slot that he had during the last engagement. Now the melee Rax remains alive. What are you up to, Courier? This Yap Source Lotus Orb as well. That looks to be what he's trying to buy up. That Great versus Swap, Great versus Chrono. Or oh, sorry, Great versus Thunder. Swap in Lasso. All those big ultimates that Alliance have in. Their melee Rax is falling. Bulldog out in a oh. terrible position. Again, RK forced to use his swap very defensively. And actually gives over the swap. That's an Agnum's upgraded swap. But then S4, he finds the Absor, dragging him in the corner, breaks a Chrono Spear. It got Bulldog and S4. The Shark are coming in. KZ wants to kill the secondary Chrono. They're going to bring down RK Smalls out from Bulldog. There's nowhere to go. S4's even just on the tip of a two. The Shallow Grave is not enough. The two of them are down. Loader, he needs to be huge. He needs to be massive. He's picking off the back lines. The Yule Scepter will end up saving the Rubik, dodging those three attacks. The Shark comes slowing down Loader. He'll come over to era where is this damage output they can't keep up with it they have to back out now esc as well by the time no reason to risk it you still got the melee racks in the mid and loader will need to actually fly that refresher out to himself in a second they still have to fight three on five though they definitely know that broodmother does not have buyback and Invoker, not sure what happened to his BOT2s. Oh, actually, he... Yeah, he, he just gave him up from the refresher orb. Yeah, he didn't BOT back to the fight, though, after his uh, after he had bought back. Not sure what happened to that, but regardless, they will have five heroes for this push. And Koifa, they give him the Lotus Orb protection. Already the jump is over on EGM. Managed to actually get <laughs> Lotus up. To... There's too many weird abilities flying around with these Lotus Orbs. But the bottom rank's being attacked, Loader, Metamorphosis up again, wants Keizu, Keizu, Chronosphere's off cooldown in one second time, and then he can turn, but Era still standing on top of Loader, they want a better position for this, and this is a pretty damn good one, Loader on the stairs, isolated, Keizu, there goes your Chronosphere, they need to kill Loader right now, and he's dropping, the Shallow Grave is up for EGM, they swap him out as well, Is Terrorblade in deep, Thunder's over an RK, but the curse is on RK as well, oh Loader, again, has to kill off his own teammates unwillingly thanks to Cinder and they go for more the BKB is up they managed to get the swap out again it's Koifa who's the man who saved but Loader the damage is there Koifa four stuffed in unwillingly too deep triple kill for Loader you still have Era inside the base but S4 will not let him escape Loader the Shallow Grave is allowing him to fight in the front line and they get through it's an ultra kill for Loader the bottom Rax is barely intact it's the range Rax on 347 all that is left does escape have enough can they end this game they're dead for so long I think they have to go right now when Invoker doesn't have his buyback like BOT there kill the range Rax refresh BOT back to defend so they're coming to push yeah they 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 need to end the game right now and I think Loda had a smart play there by centering his own teammate, so he had no chance of getting that reflected back. And he kind of killed his two supports, but that's what they're there for. I think Loda is actually killing off as many of his own teammates uh, in the fight as he's killing off enemy heroes. Oh, yeah. Oh, right hello. Radiance hello, Loda. He's going to give up the mana style. The Divine Rapier has arrived. It's still 37 seconds until he's actually got his metamorphosis up. As they look for a target, EGM, Era, four staffed up by Sinran, trying to push him away to safety. The Splinter Blast will slow down the push, but that damage from Loader is just so high. Do they go past it? Yeah, they are. They're coming in. They've got 40 seconds while this Invoker is down. They're going to go for a straight GG push. Not a single rack has been taken. Fortification will slow it down. Keizu, now back to Wall of the Living. Time blocks out. He needs the Chronosphere, and he gets it. He isolates Loader, but S4 still causing problems. This Chronosphere, there's no follow 
follow-up. Loader at least was controlled, but they don't find the kill. He's going for the Fortress with a BKB protection. Keizu now actually has to go again for the Chronosphere, but he hasn't got enough of them. Now they can just keep attacking it. This could be Eliza's game right now. They've got it! 71 minutes! They actually take it on the back of the Rapier Terrorblade. Elias take game one against Escape after Escape. Look, they had everything slammed into the bag. They lost it all. Damn, that was an amazing comeback by Alliance there. And that's that's objective gaming at its finest. The Rapier <laughs> was brilliant choice by Terrorblade.